In this video, we're going to look at rationalizing the fraction square root of 3 minus 2 over 2 root 6. And the problem with square roots is we don't like to see them in the denominator. It's considered bad practice. And so what we know we need to do is we need 2, because it's a square root, 2 of each factor to clear that 6 out of there. Well, 6 is 2 times 3. Mm, we're going to need one more of each of those, it looks like. So we need one more 2 and one more 3. And so we're multiplying by the square root of 2 times 3. Well, let's just multiply that out. 2 times 3 is 6. So we're multiplying by the square root of 6. And if we multiply by root 6 in the denominator, we're going to want to also multiply by root 6 in the numerator. Same thing on top and bottom. As we do this, we need to remember that numerator in parentheses, that entire numerator is going to be multiplied by the square root of 6, which distributes through. Root 3 times root 6 is root 18, minus 9 root 6. In the denominator, as we're simplifying, we've got two 6's under a radical. That brings a 6 outside the radical, with nothing left inside. Don't forget the 2 in front. So we have 2 times 6. Simplifying that, 2 times 6 in the denominator is 12. But you'll also notice the 18 we can simplify a bit if we factored it. Well, let's just do it over here. 18 is 2 times 9, 9 is 3 times 3. And you see we have a pair of 3's which can come outside the radical, and the 2 is left inside the radical minus 9 root 6. At this point, there's an inclination to want to reduce, and we do want to reduce, that's correct, but it's very important we're careful how we reduce. A common error I see is people will reduce the 3 and the 12 and get 4. That's wrong. Or I'll see people reduce the 9 and the 12 and have a 3 root 6 and a 4 in the denominator. That's wrong as well. Remember, we can only reduce a fraction by reducing out factors. This means we need to factor the numerator by pulling out the GCF of 3 first, leaving behind root 2 minus 3 root 6 over 12, and now we're allowed to reduce the factors of 3 and 12, dividing them both by 3, leaving a 4 behind, and we have our final answer, root 2 minus 3 root 6 over 4. Making sure we only divide out factors, not terms, that are added and subtracted. And that simplifies this expression by multiplying by the root 6 in the numerator and denominator to clear the radical, and then simplify the radicals and simplify the fraction.